Today I have a brief off-the-cuff video on Conan Canon, and the loose answer to the question, what is Canon and Conan, really does come down to, I would say, your own head canon, but it depends on how true you want to be to the character and how true you want to be to the universe. For this theory or stack of what is canon, we'll say that you're trying to do your best to stay true to the Hyborian Age. So, the core of the story would be Howard's writing and historical parallelism. For the most part, that is what's canon. And if you try to fill in the gaps, or once we reach those areas of there is no written lore on this, mostly it will be historical parallelism. If historical parallelism fails to account for it, then under that I think that it's best to go with the writings of Lovecraft. Lovecraft in real life was good friends with Howard, along with a number of other people you wouldn't expect him to be friends with, but they traded letters back and forth, had a great relationship. I have videos on both authors. I'll link down below if you're serious about getting into a little bit more of a study of them. I have an introduction to both of them. But Lovecraft, of course, is Cthulhu Mythos. The Dreamlands are definitely more fleshed out. Dreamlands exist both in Conan's universe and in the Lovecraft universe, so that's definitely next. And, of course, under that, because there are conflicting narratives within it, would be Conan's eventual adoption into the Marvel universe. Now, the beautiful thing about the Hyborian Age, before you click off this video and you say, Oh, I don't want any Marvel in my Conan. Obviously, there are certain characters which we simply cannot include, and it would be amazing to include them for thematic sake. And of course, the example I always use on this channel is Thor. Thor is a wonderful character to have a what-if team up with Conan. However, in the actual theme of the universe, it does break it. Now, there are some you know, time traveling from that timeline, and that's actually what I really want to talk about. Because... The reality of Conan, you keep worrying. A lot of people, they worry and they get confused. They keep saying, oh, well, where does Conan go from here? The Hyborian Age. Well, the Hyborian Age, roughly speaking, turns into our world, but with three divergent timelines, as best I can tell you. The first timeline is it turns into our world, void of any Lovecraftian horror elements or Marvel elements. The second timeline is that it actually turns into Lovecraft's 1920s, ending whenever Lovecraft's story's latest date would be. So, in the case of the Lovecraft mythos, I believe the story that is set farthest into the future is the Fire Vampires, which sort of ends the mythos, I think, in the 2300s, but I'm not quite sure. Then, when it comes to Marvel, of course, that's another third timeline. If you really do want that, if you do, then you're probably someone who's primarily a Marvel fan looking to include Conan, which is absolutely fine. That's just not how I do it. But that's basically what it is. Three divergent timelines, all of whom contribute something to the Hyborian Age. The deviants from Marvel fit very well in the Hyborian Age. A future where you meet or Conan meets Namor. Again, th there are direct time travel stories with three characters I can think of, which would absolutely work very well with Conan without breaking any themes from Marvel. Moon Knight, because he's already connected to Eldritch Elements and Elements of Madness. Uh, Blade, because he is directly correlated to how vampires work in both Marvel and in Conan, which is beautifully done. I think the, the vampires in Marvel, I think the vampires in Conan are wonderfully done, and Marvel has certainly contributed a lot to the vampire mythos. Then the third one, which would be Namor, and you say, oh, Namor, but he's an Atlantean, and Atlantis ex Exactly, actually, Marvel does a very good job of explaining how Cole's Atlantis, after it sinks, after the Deep Ones, after all of that, is later inhabited by a new group of people who learn magic and become Namor's Atlanteans. And it would be such a trip and such a good Namor story for him to encounter Cull of Atlantis. That would have been phenomenal. That would be an amazing story. Just like it would be a wonderful story for, uh, for instance, uh, say, Blade to time travel, team up with Conan to try to take out Varney, the original vampire in the Conan mythos, and the original vampire in Marvel, which is great. And then what you could also have is in regards to Moon Knight. Well, you've actually already had a great team up with Moon Knight that involves trying to stop the Serpent God set 
who is also convergent within Moon Knight's canon of his set, who is the archenemy of Khonshu, the god he may or may not serve, because he also has themes of madness. Moon Knight, Moon Knight is a Lovecraftian superhero if there ever was one. I'm really happy he's getting his own show. I hope it doesn't suck. Anyway, that was this little off-the-cuff video on Conan canon. I hope it cleared things up for you. It is fast and loose. It's what you make of it. But the beautiful thing and the message I want you to take away is don't worry about it. The Hyborian Age converges three different timelines that would all later ascend from it, but you don't have to worry about that. You're in 10,000 BC. The wonders you can experience in this low fantasy universe are up to you, and you have so much to choose from. Whether you want a historical parallel adventure where you basically have a detective story that takes place with medieval level technology if you really want that, whether you want a story of eldritch madness that ends with it being, I don't know, left up to chance, whether or not it was a dream, the Frost Giant's daughter by uh, Howard was actually a great example of that, or you want a genuine, like, I am basically the... Uh, it, again, you could fudge it. You could fudge it if you want to. You could bring in certain elements that I wouldn't, but you can be a vampire hunter, you know, start slaying uh, off a bunch of undead, a monster hunter. If that's really what you're into and bring in some of that Marvel Mythos goodies, I, I absolutely have no trouble with that either. So yeah, no, what's canon in Conan? And that all depends on what you're into. <laughs>